So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the machine on by turning the key. And then we're going to come over here and hit the on button. And that makes sure that uh, the machine is uh, on. We've got, we've made sure that we didn't hit this. Um, we have our autofocus again and our up and down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the low roller. So the way this is going to set, it's going to set like this for now. Your motor is to the right, unlike everything else. Um, and it comes from the factory set. Uh, and if it doesn't, for some reason, then contact Rotoboss and they'll walk you through how to either work the image or uh, flip the number five dip switch. So I know that this, my head is here. So somewhere in this general area will be center. And generally speaking, I'm going to start with this on the front edge of the base plate there. Just like with anything else, we're going to plug it in and keep this out of the way. And that's how you put it into the machine. So now that we have light burn up, we're going to do a, a simple simple design just to walk you through the the steps again for the the rotary for the Aurora 8 UV so let's just so we'll just do the simple hello world I'll get out of that I'll hit P for center and now I will hit the period button to rotate it. I know that this is the direction of my head or my motor. So the cup will be facing this direction. So this is what I'm going to do here. Um, now that I have that. So we've got this in here, but we need to make sure that our rotary is set up. Uh, properly for this so I'll go to laser tools rotary setup now we're on roller rotary I have enabled rotary return to the starting point that's just because that's what I like uh, my rotary settings are 4400 steps per rotation set forth by the manufacturer uh, Rotoboss my roller diameter is 56 millimeters and nothing else below this really matters. Um, I am on the Y axis. So as you see, my cup is spinning this way. Now, here's where we get a little confusing. Because of the way this works, we need to worry about a split setup. So right now, what I found uh, with the help of tech support is a split size of 0.101 millimeters with an overlap of 0 0.002 so your overlap is the distance that the image is going to overlap itself as it rotates um, and then your split size runs along with that uh, you can adjust these uh, practicing to speed up the rotary and speed up your engrave but for this one we're going to leave everything like it is and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and work my speed power settings. I'm going to go to my library. I know that my UV library is up. And because today I'm going to use a JDS plastic cup. And we're going to write it in dark gray or engrave it in dark gray. So I'm going to assign, go back to my cut layers. I'm going to open this up. So we have a speed of 400 millimeters a second, a frequency of 150 kilohertz, and a Q pulse width of one. It's going to be a bi-directional fill, and we are going to use a thousand lines per inch or 0 
DPI. And the number of passes is set at two. So I like all of that, it's on a fill, and I'm going to click OK. Now we're gonna move over and back to the UV and finish setting up the low roller inside of the UV so that we can get this uh, engraved on a JDS plastic cup. So as you can see, the Rotoboss is in here or the low roller. Um, I am going to slip this under. Okay, well, obviously right now I can make some adjustments. So I rotate my knob. I'm gonna put my level here. And I am currently level. My next step is to focus. So we have two methods that we can focus, and that's one manually or two uh, autofocus. And we'll go through them both so that you can see the potential struggles or ease or whatever. So right here, I have to bring this close, and I want I want to pay attention to where my rotary is sitting. I put a piece of white paper so I can see the red dot and I hit autofocus. Now there's probably an easier way to do this. But at this point I haven't figured it out. So we wait and it's raising or lowering the head and now we've met the where it is. So now I'm gonna put this back up here I am going to put my little white piece of paper here so I can make adjustments as necessary. Because I am going to put right here is where I intend to put my engraving. So as I come back over. So from here, I'm gonna hit frame. Uh, we can see it on the cup with the little white uh, square so I can line everything up. Everything is ready to go. I've double checked my settings. Uh, and again, let's make sure 400, 150 Q pulse is one. It's a bi directional fill, two passes. And now I'm going to hit OK. When I look here, I can pretty much see the own thing, uh, see the same thing. You'll notice that the power is grayed out. The power is adjusted when you make adjustments on your frequency and Q pulse. It does it all together. You don't ever have to worry about power with the five watt. I need to make sure that my, I have enabled rotary. So that's where I'm at right now. That's about where I want it to be. It's kind of difficult to see with the, the clear. So now I am level, I'm set up. It's gonna engrave where I want it to engrave and I recheck along here to make sure that my rotary is square with the table. And since I did wiggle it a little bit, I'm just going to put a, okay, there it is right there. And then we'll go back to the computer and get things ready to go. So now that we got it set, we've got our enable rotary. Um, I don't have to worry about cylinder correction. We'll do that in another video. And here I am ready to go. So I'm going to hit frame. You'll see enable rotary and then 56 millimeters and 4,400 steps for rotation comes up. Um, and then I'm going to hit start and it's going to give me this window again, asking me for my split size, asking me for my overlap. Um, I can run whole shapes if possible, run shapes and, uh, run all shapes in each slice. 
So here, um, it also has a sanity check that you can click, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And it's processing through each slice. If you'll notice right here, it's however, the number of slices of 681. So this image has 681 slices. And as it's processing through it, the UV is running.